Hi guys, it's Jennifer from Genuine Teaching and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I lesson plan for math. Now this is the second video in a series of how I lesson plan. In the previous video about lesson planning, I talked to you about my introduction to how I lesson plan and how I've lesson planned in the past and then I went into how I did my reading lesson plans. Now my reading lesson plans take the longest to plan out just because I have a program that um, I kind of have to alter to fit the needs for my students. Now, if I had a well-rounded program that met all their needs, it wouldn't take um, quite as long. Now, with that said, for me, math is the easiest thing for me to plan because I use Eureka Math and it has everything that I need to use. And so I'm going to be taking you onto my computer today because my teacher's edition is in book form, but they also have it available in a digital form. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be um, showing you side by side me planning and have my teacher's edition um, on the screen. So let's go ahead and look at this video. So in today's video, I am going to be planning my math block. Now, as you can see, this is from the video um, that was the first in the series, which I was planning my reading block. And if you notice up here, I'm actually planning for the first week back after winter break. So that's why it is in January. I'm trying to get a head start on my lesson planning and might as well film it for you guys. So math is by far a lot easier to plan than reading is just because we use a program. Um, and the program that we use is Eureka Math. And so it already has everything written out for you. It gives you a script. Um, you can follow the script. Um, now that I've been using it for a few months, it's been pretty easy to kind of add my own thing in um, and add extra practice, so that's been really nice. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting with lesson 11. I'm just going to drag that to the side so I can kind of see both at the same time. And I'm going to go into edit lesson and... The first thing I want to do is I want to write my objective. So down here, we have to change ours a little bit. Um, we can't just write this objective because it has to have the word buy in. Basically, what are the students required to do and how are they going to show that they achieved it? So blah, 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 buy, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to type in this objective. All right, so now that I have my objective in, I'm just going to work my way through the lesson. And so I'm going to start by doing fluency practice. And fluency practice changes every day in this program. Sometimes we do um, multiplication sheets. Some days we just do like a warm-up. So this one we are going to be multiplying by eight pattern sheet and they have about two minutes to um, solve as many problems as they can. So they give them seven minutes because there's gonna be a warm up with it. So like write five times eight and let's skip count and then, so just kind of warming them up. So like the actual pattern sheet takes two minutes but there's like a warm up and stuff that goes with that too. And then group counting, um, and then we're going to go into decomposing a multiplication sentence. And so, all right, and then the concept development is kind of where my math talk comes in. Um, so I'm just going to write. And so basically this is going to be interpret the unknown in multiplication. And then I put the math talk on the board or 
on a PowerPoint. So I'm going to open up PowerPoint. All right, so I keep this very, very simple. Like, I don't use fancy font. I literally just type what it is. And since this is on the computer, I can just copy and paste it into my PowerPoint. That's literally what I put on my screen. And then the kids solve it. I give them like about three to five minutes depending on how they're doing and then I allow them to talk with their partners. I'm just going to save this as module three lesson 11 and click save. So then they have another one and I'm just going to because I kept this open So now I'm just going to upload the PowerPoint and then when I get to work all I have to do is open it and then my concept development questions are already there. So then it gets into the problem set and the problem set is basically the independent practice. And then I give them their homework. And then I'm going to go into my standards and then add my standard. All right, so the two standards that I chose for this lesson was 30A4, which is determining the unknown number in multiplication or division. And then I also did OA7, which is being able to fluently multiply, multiply and divide within 100 because they are going to be doing that eights um, pattern sheet. So I'm just going to go to the lesson, just make sure everything looks good. And as you can see, this is all I do for math. So I'm actually going to fast forward through the next four days. Um, I'm going to be doing the same exact um, steps on how to lesson plan, but I'm just going to work my way through the lessons in the Eureka Math program.
So I hope you guys like this video. As you can see, math takes way, way shorter amount of time to a lesson plan, which is really easy because then I'm not spending five hours a week lesson planning for my subjects. So my next lesson plan that I'm going to be showing you is my reading lesson plan. And so that'll be the next video in the series. As always, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy teaching. Bye guys.